Hey everybody watching, good to be back. I am recording this video for a second time because the other video got corrupted, unfortunately. Here. What I'm doing today is a mail day and I'm looking at the part of the mail I've received lately from old school magic, reserve lifts cards that I've been checking out. Um, my theory pretty much right now is buy cards I like, buy cards I can imagine using and having fun with, buy cards that I like the art with. Um, if they're reserve list, then that's great. If they're old, that's great. And that's what we have today. We have um, rares, uncommons, commons, just anything that I like. Um, I do have a drink with me. Carrie and I just got back from a trip. We went to Alamogordo and um, saw some family out there. It was really fun. And I am here with family. I'm here with Avender. Hello. <laughs> and we are, yeah, we're, we're going to open these, share them with you. I hope you guys like them. I'm excited about them. Um, just things I'm adding to my collection. So... There's something at the end here that I'm really excited about. I won it a while back. From a lottery. Mm-hmm. Yep. From a lottery. With from that. my friend Paul. We became friends when I won this card, so that's towards the end. Um, and, yeah, shout out to you, Paul. Thank you very much for the the raffle, the lottery, the Raz. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's see what we have first. We've got Teferi's Imp from Mirage. Oh, yeah, I read in anthologies that Teferi's an actually really old planeswalker. Yeah, Teferi's been in the history of magic for a good long while. He's actually my favorite planeswalker. Is he uh, Jake's favorite as well? I don't know. So, got a couple of these guys. They look kind of cute, but also scary. Spooky. And up next... Oh, okay, so Basalt Monolith, revised. I got this from my local used bookstore, Bookman's, here in Tucson. Um, Beautiful. I love supporting the local businesses in my area. I recommend that to everyone. They always benefit from our help. And this came from Bookman's as well, from Legends. Casimir the Lone Wolf. I just like that art. I haven't really owned anything in the anthologies besides those um, a few Homeworld uh, Homelands cards. Yeah, we've got some Homelands in the stack coming up next. As well as some Ice. Right now I've got Energy Vortex. I was happy to get this one. Uh, it has gone up in a little, a little bit in price since. Magic really likes vortexes. <laughs> and as we had mentioned, some homelands, Ace and Crusader. I like this one for the errata that was passed on it. Heroes was changed to, I believe, soldiers and knights. So yeah. that may become um, more powerful in the future, more sought after. It's gone up a little in price as well. That was mentioned in Anthologies, the change from um, heroes to knights and oh, soldiers. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, in, in the Anthologies book? Yep. Yeah, the book Avender's talking about is one that um, I gave to him, passed down to him. and Many years ago. <laughs> yeah, a few years back. Um, I've also been starting a collection of Foglio. Uh, I just love the, the artwork. It really stands out to me. So I got a couple of these amulets on making. Hey, can you Sort these up by set real quick. You know what? That ball, that um, thing, at first, like, when I first saw it, when you were just pulling it out, I, my brain jumped to Grim Monolith. Mm hmm Just from, like, the art and look of it. Was it the, the border? No, I'm pretty... Oh, not. are you thinking of Basalt Monolith, this one? Yeah, that, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're very similar cards. 
So this one, I did not mean to order in French, but there it is. Hey, maybe that means, um, <laughs> you know, people, it'll be more sought after because, you know, you have your fair share of Japanese cards. It may or may not. I am happy to have it for my own liking either way. Um, but yeah, I still like the art on it. That Mirage era art, the Visions and Mirage art. Um, it's D Divine Intervention for those not fluent in French or familiar with the card. Uh, I just like the art from those sets. What do we have next? Okay, we've got more Homelands. I haven't seen Ironclaw Curse move anywhere yet, but all of Homelands is moving up. Um, and these are rares, so Wait, I thought it was pretty cool. How much is home, Homelands right now? Like It depends what you're getting. Um, we the get booster like boxes are greatly increasing in price. Uh, unopened boosters are, and singles are. I do have some um, reprints of a really old lands. Mm -hmm. So I ordered four forgets, but I forgot to order all of them from Homelands. I think I messed up my cart a little bit. Also a rare. Um, target player chooses and discards two cards from his or her hand. If that player does not have enough cards in hand, his, his or her entire hand is discarded. That player then draws as many cards as he or she discarded in this way. So, I like uh, playing some Is It decks that combine um, scrapping some cards and drawing cards. Uh, reminds me of mm, what is it? Attunement or some more modern cards that aren't coming to mind right now. Radical idea, maybe. I guess you forgot. I did forget. I forget all the time. Aetherstorm. I thought this was a rare when I ordered it. It's not, but the art is amazing. I know. I mentioned that last time before it got before this video got yeah. corrupted. I hope this one doesn't get corrupted now. Well, we shall see. Because last time, we are like, all so excited for events that would happen in the future, but now those events are past. So, I got Inheritance from Alliances. More art by Kaja Foglio. I think that is one of my few alliances purchases that I got my hands on. Um, pretty cool. Me myself. I got these just because I liked the the art for Folk of Anhava from Homelands. What's that, Avender? Um, me and myself, I haven't owned anything besides anything old besides homelands and a few um unglued yeah maybe a few urza cards mm -hmm. Those urza's the, block yeah the urza's um legacy i think mm -hmm. the one with the gears so if you could own some set or some cards from these older sets which which do you think you'd like to look at more um probably you know the one that had a really big popularity burst i think that one was legends Legends was very popular. Sold out in the first day of release. Oh. I did not know that. You taught me something. Do you want me to bring in anthologies I'd... since we're on the subject of really old cards? Yeah, no, right now. Let's just keep up with the mail day. Um, I would love to hear, however, uh, what people watching this video are buying, um, what they're interested in. Is it Homelands? Is it Alliances? Mirage Visions? Uh, something later? Weatherlight? Uh, stronghold? Let me know. I'd I'd love to chat and hear about that. I have an idea. What's what's your idea? What if we had a fun fact at the end of the at end of each video about that might be an interesting game. thing. I have a for fun the videos fact. you help me with. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've had a bunch, and I've enjoyed it, so I like that idea. I got these Wizard School simply because of the flavor. That's one of the things I love about Homelands is the flavor of that set, and also. Homage. As a little homage to Strixhaven that's coming out. So, I'm looking forward to Strixhaven. I'm sure that Harry Potter fans who also play Magic would be ecstatic for this. So there was a problem with this order. I ordered three of these. I got one. And I am currently writing um, TCG Player. And I... I 
they touched base with the company that I ordered from. They haven't gotten back to me, so I'm looking to get two more Elven Liars. Because, as you can see, only one here in the pack. Uh, Fallen Empires. I don't have a stack for you yet. And, okay, shout out to Paul. Thank you very much for the opportunity to own this next card. It's actually my first card I've ever owned from this set. And it is this amazing sinkhole from Alpha. So this is one of the newest treasures in my collection. And again, Paul, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. It will be taken good care of. <laughs> I plan to keep it for many years. Wait, Dad, you didn't show them the really cool token card you got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so one in one of these orders, I got this um, from Game Heroes. I got this goblin token. Just a little extra they gave me. I love the art on it. Pretty cool. Thanks for reminding me, Evander. Mm -hmm. I want to show off my card sometime. That's a cool idea. Alright, what's you know, next? Spent, like a bunch of cards for my birthday. Okay, so these next two are from Oxit. I've really been enjoying using their new app. I'll put a link down in the video description. Um, the first one is from Adam Forquer. For, for I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I hope I'm getting it right. Um, it is a card from the list. It is a portal reprint of Wrath of God. Mm. So thank you, Adam. I love the packaging job that Adam does on his cards. So. Fun fact about Portal. Apparently... Their rules were completely different from traditional magic tool rules. How like, so? Like, it was completely new game mechanics and completely new rules. Like, it was a completely separate game, as they treated it that way. Hmm. But in Portal 2, they did uh, they did update it to, ma to normal magic traditional rules. Oh, the wording on things? Yeah, and other such I things. I remember Portal did have very distinct wording... I think to help new players understand that being the purpose of the starter set, as they called it. I've but, loved the the flavor text on a lot of the portal cards too. They're I think they're more approachable for people just learning to play the game. So here they have William Shakespeare as flies to wanton boys, are we to the gods they kill us for their sport. There are actually a few sets that um just have a few that most <clears throat> I need to reconstruct my sentence. All right, you take a minute for that. Yeah. Um. Actually, there ha there are a lot of there are actually a, only a few cards in the portal sets that do not have any traditional real life quotes. Really. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I I, I like the the literature on that. If if anyone out there is sending cards, I found this on one of the things I got from Oxit, um, from Devin, no, not Devin, D, D Coppice. Um, it says, photos please don't bend, which I think is a great way to help protect what you're shipping out. Um, oh, this one was not from Oxit, actually. This was from a Facebook group, um, from a misprints group. I was looking for, um, someone posted a, a misprint of a foil thorn elemental with the, the foil line about there. Not sure if this one has anything like that. I don't see anything on it, but, um, that person didn't want to sell theirs. However, D coppice was very great. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? was very giving, um, generous, and sold me theirs. So thank you to whoever that may be. Well, that's my haul from Old School Magic, um, Reserve List, and so on and so forth. Tell me what you guys think. What's your favorite thing I picked up? Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys more.